Hello everyone, uh, Goro here. And uh, yeah, and, uh, and welcome to the next episode of Definitely Not Mr. Sandman's playthrough of Figure GX Tech Force. Now, we have, uh, in between episodes, we have gone in and created a new deck specifically for tagging with Jaden until we're able to get polymerization. Uh, there are a few high-named duelists here in this room, but we're gonna, we're gonna awesome. save those for a minute. Uh, what we want to do is get some of these lower-ranking duelists, you know, the nameless Jims, Johns, Bills, and Bobs, and uh, try and get some dual points out of them. Hopefully, continue our winning streak at least until we get to 10 wins. Well, you haven't got to see it yet. The reason Tag Force's name is Tag Force is because the series does love the Tag Force, which is our personal favorite way to duel in real life. We've been tag partners for a while. Yeah. Like seven years now. So, we pretty much know how each other think at this point. The question is, do we work together well enough for the computer? I think between the two of us, we have a shot. Uh, so I'm going to start with the Slacker Slackers. Sounds good. If we can get four more wins without a loss, then we should have on the attack. If not, however, well, there's always next time. If we get these four more wins without a loss, we unlock the pack that has some of my favorite cards in it, though. That's so why I really yeah. hope we continue our streak. So we have Terrence. Who doesn't look like it, but he's from Sniper Red. <laughs> the red jacket didn't give that away at all. Yeah? None. I mean, wait till you hear some weird from Sniper Red. Now his tag partner is... Okay, my name's Moses. Moses. We're gonna fight this bitch like the Red Sea. <laughs> <laughs> Red because it's from Slyver, of course. Yeah, no biblical reference at all. Even if we couldn't tell. No, we couldn't tell. Literally impossible. You know, I am a uh, red, red colored one. Okay, that might not have been as funny of a joke for anyone who actually is colorblind, and I'm sorry. I make that joke. Specifically for the fact that they both seem to not think that we can see the color ring. Anyway, we're gonna duel them. It is kind of funny that unlike some of the tag partners, they are funny. One of them's name is Moses. And they're both wearing red. The other's name starts with tear. Maybe it is a biblical reference. Or at the very least, a reference. Uh, ah. We're going second. That's unfortunate. Funny enough, we just switched off control, so Healing we we'll get and fair play. Yeah, I broke the streak, and that's fine. He's drawing. So you He's... can't tell, we built an elemental hero deck specifically to tag. Made the level of light, took the Alright. We can we can deal with that. One back row. In phase. Jaden's turn. Uh this simulator we're using for this does have a turbo button, but we are trying to not use it on script or on video. At least not during the news. Yeah. However, if we accidentally hit it, we apologize if it messes with it. I did use it to skip past the intro of all three of our uh other people here putting their dual discs on because that takes forever on its own. Oh, uh, he was one hero away from being able to summon Electro or whatever. Erect Healer or something like that? Uh, I believe it's, uh, Anyhow, Eric Flag? He fusion summons his Elemental Hero uh, Rampart Blaster, uh, Great Bay for our Rampart Especially with that defensive stack and the ability to attack. 
plus a nightfall summoning animation. Uh, um... Jaden. Well, um, even though he's looking to attack, which its effect doesn't require, at least it's not a terribly weak monster. True. What I'm concerned about is whether I want base down might be. I'm concerned about quite a few things. Now luckily, despite it being a tag duel, that hero signal can come into nice effect if he sets it. Now, I'm just noticing this for the first time, and this is a good thing for us to find out who has in his deck now, which is just the good stuff. Creature Swap. Creature Swap. My baby. I'm just now noticing it. Already took down half their life points. Roundabout, yeah. And we have anyway. a nice little face down. If we can get one of our uh, fusion recoveries, that polymerization he just used will come in handy real nice. We'll also we'll have our choice of material. And Dark of Darkness. We don't need to see its details. It has no effect. Normally that would be pretty threatening, but since we have Rampart Blaster with 2,000 attack on our field, I'm not all that worried. Granted, I could be a lot more worried. Okay. Less worried. Regardless, I think I'm gonna switch that Rampart Blaster into defense so that it can attack directly from Well, now we have to blame him. And that will be incredibly useful. The own fusion recovery. Nope. What am I? Ah. Could have summoned a Rampart Blaster of our own? Yeah. Uh, actually, if only that were used for a fusion summon. Mm -hmm. We could have gotten our miracle fusion. Still would be able to. Let's set the Waboku and the Hero Barrier. He had a very defensive hand again. Why is it always me? Uh, I believe what I might do is summon a Burst Tenetrix and share the pain. Because then, we can get a direct attack in for Rampart Blaster's full attack. At the same time, we don't know what the uh, enemies might do on their next turn. They've used very little of their hands, so they could have a Correct. Threat. So it may be worth saving to share the pain. Well, in that case... I'm going to use Rampart Blaster to hopefully be able to get over that mag. Unless the back row says something against it. I'm gonna summon Sparkman. Just in case. Hopefully the Sparkman will get a direct attack in after the Rampart Blaster gets its attack on. <laughs> yes, which should deal plenty of damage. Also, it doesn't get a cool attack animation when we do it. Alright, I see how it is. Oxygen Hunter. Not what I was expecting. Ooh. Well, he's still gonna be lower. I was honestly expecting that to be something along the lines of Sakura 2 Well, he made a net gain of 300 life. Technically 200. Maybe. I'm doing my math right. He was a 5 yeah. Regardless, we have a decent field set up, and Jaden has plenty of options. And I've got a defensive back. Hopefully, we'll be able to finish this duel rather quickly. Yep. The one that seems to have set two back row cards and one monster, which might not end well. Hopefully, Jane is. Thanks for four reacts. For example, he could switch his oh. play man into attack position and then attack 
creature swap. But he's not. He doesn't seem to be smart enough for that. And if he really play doesn't play seem this to be smart enough. Jaden? Yeah. 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 Why? If he had done that, he could have taken the Crow out, flipped it, attacked the Playmail skill, destroyed them both, and then got two direct attacks off. Dark Factory. Or even attacked it. Which is, uh, Spark Man. Yep. Don't need to read Dark Factory. Unfortunately, that Mad Dog is going to come back into play. Thankfully, that Mad Dog will not be able to get over Rampart Blaster still, unless they have something else. Something amazing face down. Not even amazing since the Rampart Blaster is attacked, you would only have to increase it by 100. Wow. Yep, protecting our monsters and life points. However, if he would have used that one. That is right. amazing. Jaden is not thinking. I'm starting to think he might not be the tag partner we want. But the Rampart Blaster play was still nice, and the Rampart Blaster was amazing. Despite his intelligence, we still Black play out his cards pretty well. Yeah. Especially since that can be helpful. You know, I'm noticing something. Hmm. I'm gonna do it, but it's gonna take some of our life. You gonna suicide? I'm gonna suicide. I was hoping you would also. That should give us a second Rampart Blaster. Uh, if anyone's wondering why the large extra deck over here, it's because at the point that this game came out, there was no limit on how big your extra deck could be. And uh, we decided to put as much as we could in here just for the fact that we know that Jaden's using the same deck. Yep. So we I'm not being I refuse. I say as I get ready to purposefully take 1100 points of damage, just because. You could have switched to Rampart Blaster. I could have. I want it to destroy the Mad Dog immediately after, however. It'd be nice if we had access to Shining or whatever it is. It really, really would. Because in this tag, that would become very powerful. That was annoying. A mad dog will still be destroyed. It'll still take 100 points of damage. And there's another option. These, These guys are starting to annoy me. Unfortunately, Sparkman cannot get over that mystical elf. But we have Jason's Polymerization, a card that we have not gained access to yet. And we have plenty of options. If it had access to a Bubble Man, we have big options. If it had access to Bubble Man, we have two big options. However, However we have, access to we have the big options. And Thunder Giant. While I love Thunder Giant, the fact that these guys are going on a life strategy makes, makes me burn think burning ow. Uh burning is the way to go. I agree. I was just commenting on the way to Plus, it's the specific reason I chose to get Avian out of the grave. And now we get to do something we haven't done in the whole academy yet. Wow. With cards that aren't even ours. Well, one of them was. The other three, or two, the other two weren't. I attack you, so I can switch you. Would you get out of my food? There are cats attacking my bag of candy. It is very unsettling. Set a monster. Set a monster, set a card. This is the life game one too. 
Come on, Jaden. Don't be a stupid. He's got his friend. Uh, Flame Wing Man on the field. Please! Please! Summon Blade out. One of the greatest creatures swap to take an opposing defender first. Maybe put yeah. the Flame Man and attack on their field. He is summoning Blade Edge. With what, though? Okay. I did feel quite a bit of fear there that he might be stupid after last time, but I yeah. approve of that move is very great. Uh, nice that attack, attack animation we don't get. Nice attack animation for Jaden's original Ace Monster. Yeah, yeah, that is spell. upsetting. Dark Factory, their only spell they've played. It's upsetting that he used Flame Wing Man to attack a face down one that had a total of 400 attack instead of a face up one that had 800. True, but it's not like he used face down that 400. I'm gonna blame him and say he did anyway. <laughs> it's even more upsetting by the fact that Blade Edge deals piercing damage and Magician of Faith has low defense as well. Well, this one will still make you feel good. Only mildly. I don't use the word mildly very often. Ray of Upsetting. It doesn't help them at all right now, but... I mean, I guess that's true. That's not my health, that's my health from uh, earlier. Oh. Hello, cat. Come here, give me love. Love me. Not scratch me. Evil. Cats are evil. Oh. I want a clip of Murd Main Man. Murd. <laughs> Jacques Mal. Sounds like you're going to say Murder Man. Murder Man. I want to clip Mermaid Man just screaming evil. Oh, hello. Oversold. Right. Now this two revive. Oh, 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 For reference, I love cats. You can summon your senators and shear the pain yes. to attack for damage. Shear pain is not necessary, but it helps protect what that face down might be. It is fun, and it'll prevent any flip effects from being able to be activated. Just in case. Berserk Gorilla. Would have served him better uh, it would have had any been other activated. way. Yeah. I'm going to end this with an attack from the one I personally prefer, what's on the field, the Flame Wing Man. Agreed. Unfortunately, I can't uh, have both of these attack and still attack with him. Very upset. However, we can deal massive amounts of overkill damage. Well, let's say we won our first act. Yeah. Continue the streak on to seven, which leaves us at three needed. Ow! That is my left. And that was your coconut stuff that Jinx was trying to open. Why were you trying to eat my coconut? <laughs> Whenever I looked at you, don't she even was like following coconut. She wobbled me and grabbed my leg. Why? You don't even like coconut. What are you doing? Anyhow, back to the recording. We have now We have one. Flame Wingman dealt the final blow, showing us that this tag should go relatively well, especially once we get our own polymerizations. Now, here's the thing. We dealt a lot of damage. Yep, and got 689 new points. A reversal finish bonus, because at one point they did have higher life limits. Yeah, only because it was the life game back then. Yeah, that's it. Total damage. Total battle damage. 
Uh, 14,100. Total damage? Total. 14,400. I like it. Number of fusion summons, too. Yep. And, uh, one of them stayed pretty much in the wrong battle position the whole time. But it worked. It worked. Well, we have beaten the tag of fair play and healing her. Ah, she disconnected the controller. You dork. Yeah, you. 100%. I love a sweet baby. But stop. There's two more here. That are Slifer Slackers. Two more sets of Slifer Slackers. I'd say we should definitely go after them. Because while we're not lost in them, I believe we can leave any time we want. Taking advantage of the tag tool mechanic is always nice. Gives us access to cards we don't know to improve our deck here. Hopefully, we'll continue winning. At least through up until 10. Yes, we should be at seven wins now. It'd be nice if they so. nice if they double counted if they're dead, but I don't think that's the case. I don't think so. Though we did technically beat two characters. Yeah. If it did work that way, this would unlock the pack. If we win it. If we win it. Let's be honest. We're probably gonna win. Hopefully. I mean their name is Tristan. <laughs> Can you really trust a Tristan to win? They're, they're playing clowns! Can you really trust a Tristan to win? Cloud Brigade and Back of a Front. Is that what that's right? That's the other one, yeah. I ran it as Backyard Front. Oh my lord, Jaden, please be smart. Talk about demons. Jaden, please be smart. Please. No! I guess no! Really, it wouldn't be quite enough. Still an amazing card to have. He does have defensive plays, he might make one. Fair. Now, seeing that magic cylinder against that would be beautiful. Let's see if he wastes any cards this time. He will. Magic cylinder. Now, watch him negate that attack. I don't even know how we would, but somehow, <laughs> I believe Jaden would find a way. Uh, uh, uh. Time to let go. <laughs> Dark Hawk! Ash Blossom! What? Create one of anything. I mean, essentially. Drink one of the best early game you know. play styles. Let them theory. I wonder how I can make this work. So I showed you the wonderful hero ring, right? Yes. Imagine using strength on your flame wingman so it's weak enough to just equip. Hello? You're the one knocking. Why are you surprised? You are the one who knocks! And with elemental recharge, we could, as long as Jason. Jason? As long as Jaden isn't stupid and wastes it, Elemental Recharge will give us a decent amount of life. Uh, the question is, when to place it? Why do you guys keep the Elemental Slasher? I'm sorry, what? I do like these Malamus Sabers. There's one, there's the other. Ah, you gotta love the skyscraper. Now I set shrink for use defensively. And element creature. As long as Jaden doesn't has waste several. it. Really, as long as there's an element here on the field, period. Yeah, I believe Jaden would use it immediately after the Elemental Hero was destroyed. 
However, with that hero signal, we can get Spark Man. What is the face down since I have to step away? Uh, the face downs are Shrink, uh, Element Recharge, Hero Signal, and still his Wing Karibo. Thanks. I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything important. Because Magic Cylinder and they're afraid of her. Oh, no. Shifting Child oh, doesn't help when no. it's just one monster. Yeah, but that most likely means that they're flip effect monsters. Pushing back to the front, that's kind of what I was thinking. Still, I don't like that. Come on, Jaden, don't be stupid. Whack out with a blade edge. Play whack a mole, please. He has reinforcement of the army. He had it last turn, too. I don't think he plans to use it. I mean, no need to search whenever you already summon. Yeah. After all, what you want search might become a draw. What does that do? When flip face up, look at all set spell and trap cards on your opponent's side of the field and return them to their original position. That's okay. not much of I mean, it's not like they have one that would be able to stop any of our cards. Again, as long as there's a hero on the field, it's not wasted. Life points are life points. Yeah. I guess. I was just kind of hoping, you know, we'd get more. I'm greedy. You should know this. Well, then you can cover those 4,600 life points, those are Kazar or Monster. Oh, I'm very jealous of them. I want them for myself. Good thing you know how to pick rocks and slash throws. Listen, I don't go telling your private business. Now he says. <laughs> what? Is that your card? I'm, I'm sorry. What? What? Yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. Excuse me, Mom. I don't know the fuck I'm gonna do. I can't even fake the right now. Don't even know what you're saying. Excuse me, Mom. Did you get the fuck? Okay, Edgeblade. Whoa, yes. Edgeblade. Edgelord. Summoned. Okay, so it has to be summoned, and it's not being summoned. And it's not being summoned. So it's. Wasted. Wasted potential. This would be a wonderful time for reinforcements and something else. Or any general way to inflict 500 extra damage. What I'm hoping for is that he summons something he thinks is strong. Yeah, they're probably gonna keep going face down, especially since the other one's the flip back. See, fair enough. But let's be Oh, I most certainly hope. I would love to use shrink the way I properly intended. And while you may be precise in game, you can't criticize that later. I criticize the transcendent. Had you done any of that the way you wanted, that blade edge wouldn't be there. I can still criticize the transcendent plane and the lack of using that reinforcement of the army. Now watch him activate Skyscraper. I fully believe he would have done it too. I am annoyed that he's not using blade edge to activate stuff. Now, here's the thing. I'm using Reliable Guardian. There's a 1 in 7 trillion chance that Jaden will be smart enough to shrink the habits of the Do shrink also have to have both stats, I believe. Oh, that's a lot of Not just attack, you're right. Still, this should drop him to exactly zero. 
Jaden is the reason we took damage. His blade edge is also the reason we got to deal so much. He is the reason we took damage. He's the reason we dealt damage. Jaden is just the reason. <laughs> He's the reason we built our deck too. That might not be a good thing. It might not be a bad thing necessarily, but it might not be a good thing. Maximilian thinks it's one set, sometimes you have to spend life points to take life points. Sometimes you have to spend money to spend money to make money. Fuck. <laughs> they make money. Fuck. Um. Let's see. Level nine. Eight consecutive wins. Four experience away from leveling up again. Um. However, we have now gone on to three more minutes. We're at time. I'm gonna say hi to these guys real quick. Who the names are? Michael. Michael. Never trust a Michael. And. Trinkle. Taku. Taku. I was right about being a teenager. I actually shook. I'm very confused. What the fuck is it supposed to mean? Is it like. Tacos? I like tacos. No. You don't like tacos. It's not at all like tacos. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. It shares half the letters. Anyhow, having said that, hope you all enjoyed. Feel free to subscribe. Uh, stay safe out there. I hope you have a wonderful night. Technically, tape shares half the letters with taco too.